In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear brother and sister, fraternal greetings to you from the Carmelite Fathers and warm welcome to Carmel Light, reflection on the day's readings. It's the 27th of December and today we celebrate the feast of St. John the Evangelist. John is sometimes called the beloved disciple or John the Evangelist. He was the only one of Jesus' apostles who did not leave him during his crucifixion and death. In the Gospel, Jesus even asked John to take care of Mary, the Blessed Mother, after his death. John may have been the youngest of the apostles. After Jesus' ascension, John traveled to Asia Minor, telling people about Jesus and founding many new churches. Along with Matthew, Mark and Luke, John is one of the four gospel writers. He also wrote three epistles and is believed to have written the book of Revelation. He lived to a very old age and died around the year Hundred. St. John, pray for us. Let's now pay attention to the first reading of the day. A reading from the first letter of John, chapter 1, verses 1 to 4. Beloved, that which was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we looked upon and have touched with our hands, concerning the word of life. The life was made manifest, and we have seen it, and testify to it, and proclaim to you the eternal life, which was with the Father, and was made manifest to us, that which we have seen and heard, we proclaim also to you so that you too may have fellowship with us. And indeed, our fellowship is with the Father and with his Son, Jesus Christ. And we are writing these things so that our joy may be complete. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. What we have seen and heard, we proclaim now to you. If there were a job that required a person to have spent a lot of time with Jesus, John would certainly qualify for it. He was one of only a few apostles present at the Transfiguration at the Last Supper, in the Garden of Gethsemane, and he was the only apostle who stood at the foot of Jesus' cross. Instead of calling himself the one whom Jesus loved, John could just as truthfully have named himself the one who loved Jesus. It is this closeness to Jesus that gives John's words so much weight. If John had simply heard about Jesus and then decided to start preaching the gospel, he would have had far less influence. However, like Peter, his fellow apostle, John knew that he was not telling cleverly devised myths. His words have the ring of truth because he had been so personally connected with Jesus. But the story doesn't end with John's proclamation 
of what he saw and heard. Each of us can see and hear Jesus in the quiet of our hearts. And that can happen in a powerful way as we read and ponder scripture. That's because the word of God is living and effective, filled by the spirit with the potential to bring us face to face with the Lord. And because of this, scripture has the power to make Jesus' words and his person come alive for us and change our hearts. If you want to delve deeper into scripture, consider St. John as a starting point. His first letter, which we are going to read throughout the Christmas season, gives us wonderful insights into who Jesus is, what he has done for us, and how we can experience his work in our lives. So take these next few weeks and follow John as he uncovers more and more about Christ for you. Try to read slowly and prayerfully. Give the Spirit the chance to speak to your heart. Who knows, maybe you will become like John, eager to tell everyone about what you have seen and heard. Holy Father, open my heart to the Word of God. As I read and pray scripture, inspire me to devote myself to Jesus the way John did. Amen. Brothers and sisters, the psalm is a psalm of praise to God for God's giving the light the dawns for the just. I was reminded of that on a recent morning as I saw the beautiful sunrise. Light is a symbol of God's presence. The darkness of night was overpowered by the dawn, just as Jesus, the incarnate light, overcame the darkness of sin and death. Let's Pray that psalm now. Your response, rejoice in the Lord, you just. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. The Lord is king, let earth rejoice. Let the many islands be glad. Cloud and darkness surround him. Justice and right are the foundation of his throne. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. The mountains melt like wax before the face of the Lord, before the face of the Lord of all the earth. The skies proclaim His justice. All people see His glory. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. Light shines forth for the just one, and joy for the upright of heart. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. To the memory of His Holiness, give thanks. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Pray for God's blessing now. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. We remember today all those who are celebrating their birthdays, especially Sean Dominic Rodriguez from Australia, Sian Joseph Morris from Siddhakate, Melisha Dimple Korea from Katipalla, Philomena Fernandez from Alangar Mudbidre, Brother John Clifford Rodriguez. Brother Patrick, Father Baptist Fernandez, all three are Carmelites. Daniel Raphael from Bengaluru. Ivan D'Souza from Binder, Mumbai. Kenneth Sikwera from Singapore. Violet Andrade. Wish you all a happy birthday. God bless you. Avinash and Tina Suarez from New Zealand. Hilda and Hilary Sikwera from Padil presently in Dubai. 
Late Hubert and Shweta Lasrado from Angelore, Lucas and Luisa Mary Fernandez from Savantwadi, Maharashtra, Iril and Melissa Menezes from Katipalla, Cyprian and Priscilla de Souza from Panir Derlakate, Luis and Bindu Pereira from Holinar Sipra, Roshan and Roshni Saldana from Israel are celebrating their wedding anniversary today. Congratulations, dear friends. May God bless your family life. And we pray for the departed soul of Valerian Pinto from Mumbai. May the Lord grant him eternal rest. That's all for today, my dear friends. Have a great day and wish you a happy feast of St. John. Especially special greetings to all those who bear the name of John. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.